second game. And first things first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. John Garland and the pale hose. About to get even more pale look. He lost 12 the previous 16 at home. Joel Maurer had himself a ball game, but then again, which twin did? Twins an early 2-0 lead. Top of the third. Here's Torrey Hunter facing Garland and get out of town. Golf shot. Hunter's 18th. Twins up 6-3. Top of the fourth, it's that Mauer fella again. Again with two on, single to right. That scores Luis Castillo. Mauer had five RBIs on four hits, 7-4 lead. Two batters later, Justin Morneau. He was in the home run hitting contest. I think you out there, didn't I? Come back to Garland. Garland can't make the play. Bartlett scores, Twins at an 8-4 lead. I thought he was going to go pick the fly there, didn't he? Two batters later, here's Jason Kuba with the bases loaded. And yeah, grand slam, second of his career. Kubel finishes with a career-high seven RBIs. Five different Twins had three hits or more. Check out the final score. How about 20 to 14? The 20 runs, the most scored in a game by the Twins since they scored 23 against Cleveland, June of 2002. The White Sox had not surrendered 20 runs since April of 98. As for Garland, ties a career high by allowing 12 runs, 11 of them earned, and he did that three and a third. ERA jumps up from 3.15 to 3.92. Twin skipper Ron Gardenhire said afterwards, I didn't know we were going to play a football game. Top one, two on two out, State Farm home run derby contestant Justin Morneau. Yeah, I never mislead the viewing public. That's actually a three run homer. The Twins go up three nothing. Bottom one, same numbers. Jim Tome, Jim Loose, not on a fine tar because he loses the bat. Wee! Straight back. That's not so good. And then it would get worse later in that bat. Tome loses the bat again. This time it crashes right into the head of catcher Mike Redman, which stays in there to Randy Marsh. Tome loses the bat. Redman is down and bleeding profusely. Oh Look at goodness. it again. Ah, he was down for several minutes. Eventually, though, they got him up. He was able to walk off with the help of some other folks. He took seven stitches at the ballpark, said afterward that he was fine, which is good because when you get conked in the head like that, you can say all kinds of other things, which uh, would indicate you were not so good. Anyway, good enough there. Joe Maurer has to come in as the catcher. He was the designated hitter, so Ron Garden hires. Uh, lineup looks like this. His pitcher has to bat. That's the rule. When the DH goes into the field, the Twins pitchers or the American League pitcher has to bat for himself. So here's Matt Garza batting in the second, still 3 nothing. Garza strikes out. He's 0 for 12 lifetime, but he didn't allow any runs in six innings, so we're going to overlook that one more. No, I told you he was in the uh, State Farm Home Run Derby. You right? mentioned that. Yeah, that's his second one. Twins take a 4 nothing lead. We go to the seventh. One on, one out. There's Morneau again. Did I mention he's in the State Farm Home Run uh, Derby Contest? A couple of times. Yeah, he is. That's his third, his first three-homer game in his career. It's the first by Twins since Tony Oliva in 1973. The Twins take an eight, not the lead. It's the last time you saw four. Oh, I'm going to see it here. So you misled the viewing public. Yeah. I didn't know. I did not say oh. that he was the Home Run Derby oh. Contest at that time. Just keep up with me here. 12 nothing. The Twins, big. They sweep it. Twins, White Sox, 46 combined runs scored the most in a doubleheader since 1949. He doesn't want to have the job anymore. Angels, <laughs> Yankees at the stadium. Alex Rodriguez back in the lineup after sitting out on Thursday. A-Rod gets tested in the field. Vlad Guerrero, how's your hamstring injury? Apparently fine. Charges, bare hands, makes the play. Bottom two. A-Rod's first at bat. 3-2 count. The shot to right center. A-Rod, that's going to be an easy two, so we don't want to overexert ourselves there. Ease is on in as he snaps an 0-for-19 streak. Game tied at three. Jorge Posada, hip hip Jorge. That one eats up Reggie Willits. Two runs score, and the Yanks lead by a count of 5-3. Top six, Angels down nine. Since it was 9-3, Garrett Anderson shot to first. Miguel Cairo makes the diving stop, then throws to first behind Andy Pettit. Gary Matthews will score. It's 9-7. These are the things we work on in spring training. Later in the inning, Two outs, runners on second and third. Sean Figgins, he had a brilliant June. Not so bad in July here either. Both runs score. We are tied at nine. Bottom six, Yanks. Pettit can't believe it. He's, uh, he's not going to get a decision, but at least the Yanks are going to get a win because it's 10-9 with a runner on first. A-Rod fires off the two-run blast. Number 29 for him, and the Yanks win at 14-9 over the Angels. Don't beat the Angels off.
Bush Stadium is one of two active big league ballparks where Barry Bonds has played but never homered. The other one later in the program. Top first, one nothing Giants. Mike Moran facing BB. Grounds to Albert Pujols. Steps on first for one. Randy Wynn tagged by Scott Rowland there in the rundown. Giants only one in the inning. In the bottom half, Noah Lowry facing Pujols. He did not homer as well there. Look at that. Ah. It's foolish there. Not a good swing. Top five. Moroff facing Bonds for the third time in the game. 3 2 count. That's ball four. Bonds 0 for 1. Three walks. Typical of him. Molina. Next batter, Benji Molina. Deep fly to center field. So to Gucci. Goes back to the wall. Leaps in the glove. Out of the glove. That's going to be ruled an error on to Gucci. All three runners will score. And the gents are up 4 0. Bottom night, Randy Messenger. It's to Gucci. He's trying to redeem himself. Instead, he's flying out. Cardinals can't complete a rally. It's 4 3. Messenger gets his first save. The other ballpark. Bonds hasn't homered in. Drop can of field. The Reds. It's not just Junior. The Reds, a team, lead the bigs, 122 home runs. Adam Dunn, for example, the bottom of the first with a man on of Micah Owings. Dunn's 24th of the year, a 2 0 lead for the Reds. Bottom of the fifth, one on, and here is Junior. Is there a prettier swing in baseball? It's fair, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. 419 feet, 586 home runs. Ties Robinson sixth on the all time list. Now pictured Kyle Loesch goes the distance. Sixth career complete game. Sox Tigers, if the season ended today, these two would be division series playoff opponents. If the season did not end today, it would be the first game of the three game series. Bottom five, Tigers up 3 1 leadoff hitter Curtis Granderson off Julian Tavares. He is a Granderson. 12th of the season, Tigers up 4 1 later in the same inning. Score 1 0. Tavares drills Gary Sheffield. Sheffield takes his base. Is he going to rub it? No. Later in the frame, two out. Runners on second and third. Marcus Timms waiting on deck. Sean Casey intentionally walked. They're loaded with two outs. Tim's got to have the money ball. Making him pay. Tim's ninth home run of the season. Tigers going to go on to win this thing 9 to 2. This one over about as quick as the Sox win over the uh, Devil Rays on Thursday. Round one. Tigers currently the wild card team. Back to the ballpark. It was 60s night at Minute Maid for game two of the Mets Astros series. Carlos Delgado hitting 477 against the Astros in his career. But he hasn't faced Wandy Rodriguez and all those bad spots. of the fifth, Lance Berkman. Two runs shot up and out. Berkman's 15th. Astros had a 4 0 lead. As for Delgado, his rough night would continue. Rodriguez, though, Wandy had himself a heck of a night. Delgado over the three, two strikeouts. All right, here's something you don't see every day, folks. Top of the eighth, two out. Jose Reyes to third. Well, Reyes doesn't run. Mike Lamb jogs halfway across and then some before throwing. Reyes is still standing at the plate. Willie Randolph would take him out. Four hit shutout for Rodriguez. The game of interest beginning at 9.05 Eastern, 7.05 there in the mountains. Phillies and Rockies. Top 5 4 1 fills two on West Helms. Doubles to center over the head of Willie Tavares. Aaron Rowan, Pat Burrell score. Phils lead 6 1. But is any lead safe when you're playing for the Phils? Bottom seven, Rockies. They cut it to 6 3. Matt Holiday. That is long. He duck streets that one for the home run. Rockies down 6 4 as they continue to battle for their seventh straight home win. Bottom nine, six, five, two out, two strikes. Antonio Alfonseca gives it up. Brad Hopp, four hit night. We're going to extra innings tied at six in the 11th with two runners on and two out. Your Vittori Alba, no relation to Jessica Alba. The medal scores Garrett Atkins. Rockies are going to win at 7 6. Loss number 9,998 for the Phils. Stop stealing my material. Will you? Indians in Toronto before the game. Frank Thomas was honored by the home crowd for his 500 career home runs. Of course, in Toronto, they've seen about five of the 500. Vernon Wells in the bottom of the second. Two runs single up the middle. Curtis Dick Penn and Royce Clayton score. Blue Jays had a 3 1 lead. Bottom of the fourth, it's 5 3. It's Vernon Wells again. This time, Cliff Lee's struggled as of late. That ball struggles to reach the upper deck. Well, seventh home run since moving to the leadoff spot, 13th of the year. Casey Jansen falls off the mound on the pitch. Jansen's got a sense of humor. Next pitch, he gathers himself and gets Francisco looking. The Blue Jays go on to handle things. Roy Halladay improves to 31 and 7 in his career against the AL Central. 
John Smoltz on Saturday. Details on the way shortly. As for Friday night, he did have to face Andrew Jones. They were down 2-0, top of the fourth. Not for long. Andrew Jones, get out of town. His 15th home run of the season. You know, it's not easy to hit home runs in San Diego. How about the pitcher, Buddy Carlisle, doing his thing? Kelly Johnson scores. Carlisle's second. Major League RBI Braves a 3 2 lead. Carlisle, the pitcher, eight innings, seven strikeouts against his former team. Top of the ninth, there's Chipper with a double. Makes him only the third switch hitter with 2,000 hits, 400 doubles, 350 home runs. The San Diego Chicken, skies is a shark, chasing after that Braves bullpen. Marlins Dodgers, LA's lost its last two. Dontrell Wallace has not won since the end of May. And in the fifth, he's got a 3-1 lead and gives it up. Russell Martin, the all-star. Two-run homer, Martin's 10th of the season. It's 3-3. Later in the frame, Dodgers now at 4-3. Nomar garcia Para, routine fly ball to right. Jerry Her Jeremy Hermita with your routine error. Oh, just dropped it. You want to use two hands when catching fly balls. Luis Gonzalez scores. Look at Willis. So I'm out of the inning. I got to come out, and I, I got to pitch. So the Dodgers up 5-3. Top nine, Martin's down 5-4. Miguel Cabrera off Takashi Saito. Good to see there's going to be one Cabrera there in the All-Star game. Dan Ugla will score from first. He is bringing it hard. We are tied at five. We're going to extra innings. Top ten runners on the corners. There are two outs for the Marlins. Hanley Ramirez, he's bunting. Eric Reed charging from third. Marlins take a 6-5 lead. Look at this again because I'm not sure this is a squeeze. This is just old Hanley being smart. Tony Abreu at third playing way back. Heads up play. Ramirez gets it down. The Fish take a one-run lead into the tenth. Kevin Gregg then in the bottom of the tenth gets himself in a bases loaded jam, but Juan Pierre pops it up. Way up, and Hanley Ramirez, who gets the go-ahead run in, wisely uses the two hands there, shows that to Hermita, 6-5, Fish a winner. Marky Pirates trying to cool off the Cubs in the Berg. Lou Pinella's Cubbies are within four and a half games of the Brew Crew. Paul Mahalem, the Pirates starter looking to help his own cause. Lines a single up the middle. That's not just any single, that's a two-run single. And the Buccos have a two-nothing lead. Mahalam doing it on the mound now. Facing Angel Pagan. Gets him looking on strikes. Next batter is Ryan Terrio. Get the idea. Mahalam strikes up five. Goes seven. One, two, three, Look out. Four, the Bucks three, win their fourth in a row. Cubs lose for only the third time for this 14. Minutes. So the Pirates help the Brewers after hurting them for the past four days. Crew in Washington, Ryan Braun hitting 526 against lefties, four homers, 13 RBIs. He's a super rookie and see it again. Of Mike Bassett, Braun two in this game, is ninth and tenth in the big. Brewers up one nothing. Then Kevin Mench with Prince Fielder, Johnny Estrada on. Yeah, behold the power of cheese. Mench is fifth. Milwaukee is now homered in 15 consecutive games. They're up four nothing. Corey Hart trying to extend the hitting streak to 21 games. Ryan Langerhans, yeah, you can know, that off the wall for triple sets. 22 straight for Hart, longest active streak in the majors. And then a J.J. Hardy, who's an all-star, probably because he played some ball in high school, comes through there. Milwaukee wins at 6-2, ends the three-game losing streak. All right, the A's Dan Harron, first pitcher in three years to record a double-digit winning streak immediately after losing his first decisions of the season. Matched against Jeff Weaver. And check this out, all right? Last five starts. Weaver's ERA even much better. Innings pitch similar. Hair on the edge in strikeouts. Nick Swisher lines one to Jose Guillen. Shoestring catch. Double Shannon Stewart off to end the inning. Weaver five innings gave up one run. Adrian Beltre belts one. His second career five hit game. Five for five with three RBIs. And then Jose Vidro at the top of the seventh. It's one in the gap. Mariners win easily. Marco Scudero and AL tying four errors in the game. And you know better than that, right? Sports Center's top plays, number 10. Fred, it's the summer school for NBAers. Mavericks, Sonics, Caleb Green to Maurice Anger. Nasty slam in the foul. Mavericks win by 11. The former ORU Golden Eagle sharing the basketball there. At number nine, USA. Under 20 World Cup against Brazil. That's Freddie Adu. I mean, who else can make those moves? Got some help off the defender there, but still nice work by Adu over to Josie Altadori. USA a winner. 2-1. They advance to the second round. Number eight, more summer league. Blazers Celtics. You know, they give you 10 fouls there in the summer league. Right. Yeah, here Greg Oden. This is one of them he didn't use. He used 10 before Leon Poe got hammered. Six Wimbledon, Andy Roddick. 
Richard Gasquet, who was down two sets to love, came back to win in five, and that's the kind of effort you gave all afternoon. They played deep into the evening, by the way, out there in London, deep sun. Gasquet advances to the semis. Out of a five, the Cubs and Pirates see how this one ended. Caught by Jack, double play, game's over. <laughs> what a way to put a lid on it. <laughs> Fun at the ballpark. Pirates want a laugher. Eight four. Number four, Dimebacks, Reds. D-backs going to lose eight one. Could have been worse because here, Steven Drew. It's a great stop on Edwin Encarnacion. That gets through. You never know. They may score 20. That's what the White Sox We've gave. We've seen that. 20. Before. Yeah, Twins scored that. U.S. Senior Open. It's be good for you, John. Round two here at number three. Love John 20. Fielder on the par five, 11, third shot, about 115 shoots and scores. Fielder, even in the tournament, Tom Watson, your leader, eight under. Number two, Indians, Jays, top nine, tying run. Victor Martinez fly to left, and Reed Johnson diving and catching. Excellent. You know, you know, he doesn't want a tie game because in Canada, you know, they go to that shootout, so the Blue right. Jays win at 8 6. First overtime in the shootout. Number one, Trailblazer Celtics, not all about Greg Owen, now about Rajon Rondo. Three quarter court. Celtics win a critical game, 74 66.